Oh, please, kind friend, won't you take my hand and we'll all go down together? We don't need to pretend, we'll just fight to the end and we'll pray for stormy weather. I say we call tonight the night of no consequences. involved in this project? Oh, no, no, no. Wow. That I don't have a that was Wait, are we doing problem. serious answers? Yeah. Eric, she emailed me and she said, over to the park for you. We do it. And I was like, yeah. That's how I got it. She knew I did drama. She found me living homeless on the street and said I had a good face. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, thank you. Can you feed me for two weeks? And she said, yes, if you're in a movie. And I said, fine, but I have some requirements for wardrobe. I'd like things to be beaded and embroidered, if possible. And she made it happen. Yeah. So I said, okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I'm going to get it. I'm going to get a home, too. Yeah, exactly. So that's awesome. Nice which is great. Yeah. And she's made some friends, which she never really had, so. Yeah, there was something really cool about shooting the, the sunrise. Bag. Like as actors, so so many things are manufactured, and you have to imagine stuff. But especially because the camera is so far away, it really just felt like it was five girls sitting on a beach. Exactly, like, it's not just right up close. Yeah, yeah, it was. It felt totally real. When like the heat started, to... that's when we got sweaty again. Yeah, and we were like like posing for these like really great glamour shots, and yeah, you got like sand. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I'm very opposed to the whole Twitter thing. Like, I don't get that at all. I don't have to. Say. But I, but I have to say, the Facebook thing is kind of a big deal, and I, and I do Facebook stalk. So if you're my friend, so and here's what's going on tonight. We're having a pre-wrap party. Yeah. Which, we're which having three me, parties. We're we having three parties. We have a parties. scene to shoot still, and everyone's pre-wrap partying. We still have a scene to shoot. So, I, you know. Yeah, so we're gonna have the pre. We'll have like, the first one, then we're gonna <laughs> like hit you in the like, face. Free round party. <laughs> Lately, I don't see the funny side. Nothing seems quite right. The house is dark. The hall is quiet. Where is all the love, the noise, the sympathy? Close it down now, it's dead to me. Please take the key, unlock and bolt the door. I um, saw a casting call and I sent sides to Erica and she liked them. So that's how I got involved. <laughs> and um, I had worked on a project with Erica in the past. We met at um, Boca Bay where I work. So. Well, and I've had wine with her. And you were discovered. Fun. She discovered you. Discovered me. <laughs> so to speak. I guess you could say that. She had me in mind to play Abigail. So however that came about in Erica's mind is however it came about. <laughs> and then she asked me to come on board, and I was absolutely ecstatic to do so. 
the the description when I responded to the casting call was like kind of vague. I, that was on purpose, I think. Um, and I just thought I would give it a shot because it was close, and I didn't really know what I was getting into. And then Erica sent me the script, and um, it was really well written. And I'm not just saying that. <laughs> um, and I, after I read it, I was kind of like I couldn't stop thinking about it, and I was honestly a little spooked. And I thought that was a sign of a really good script. And and I thought, wow, if reading it can do that to me when, when it's just dialogue and there's not a lot of, um, there's no, you know what I mean, what the actors bring, then I was like, this movie's probably going to be, like, just amazing. And it's mm -hmm. a beautifully yeah. tragic story. Yeah, it is. And every time I've reread the script and seen things, I keep noticing new things. And so I just thought it would be really, really fun to do. I really enjoyed some of the first times that, we were all together, yeah. the cast members um, and crew that we were that we were all together and working because it really felt like everything sort of gelled. Like mm -hmm. we all just sort of it was a cohesive group. Like we were, you know, gears in a larger machine, and it was that feeling and that energy was really yeah. Great. Well, now it's time to sleep. So open your eyes and rest so sweet I'm gonna die But not tonight I hope Perhaps one day We'll find a way to wander and play Bye.